guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out No Mori. This is a pre-alpha, basically a free demo puzzle game where it's a surreal puzzle game where you have to control space and time. Uh, that's all I really read from the Steam page. It's... Honestly, I'm just expecting to have my mind blown. So just looking around right now, it's actually a very beautiful game. Can you fall? Oh yeah, you can. Woo! <laughs> it sends me right back to the menu. I'm great at this puzzle game. I saw in front of me there's a red kind of grass glowy thing. And behind me there's a green one. So I'm actually going to go into the green one. I can see myself. Oh, so it's a portal. Fun little pink thing following me around. So I'm on the ceiling! Bro, okay. Yeah, there I go. Wait, can I see myself this way? I can see myself this way too. Oh, but this way there's like a world I can actually go into and control. So what's the deal with this? Spawn block. I have a block. Grab the block. Wants me to put the block here. Is that the point of the game? Bring the bo block to the beam? Can I jump? I can. Okay, so bring the block to the beam and jump into the exit portal. Well, this is cool, so you can kind of control gravity. You can go through portals. Apparently there's time travel in this game too. But maybe I'm getting too far ahead of myself. It seems like they kind of just took all the mind-bending things from puzzle games and combined it into one game, into this very surreal, honestly cool-looking puzzle game. Like, I'm honestly obsessed with this view. Just knowing I'll have to walk sideways. Yeah, so spawn the block. And let's go on the journey. Time freeze block. Why would I want to do that? Forward time, reverse time, return spirit. So I have like a time travel spirit. So I assume I can't jump this high if the box is up there. So what I could do is time freeze block, reverse time to bring it back down. Oh, but I was carrying it. All right, return the spirit. So there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to time freeze block. Grab. Release. Time freeze it. Have it go back in time to when it was on the ground. Get on the block. I would like to get on the block. How can I have this block but not be able to jump the height of it? Oh, well, there's a ramp here. I see, I see. Right, so I'll unfreeze the block. Maybe pick it up. Put it over here, time freeze it, and then jump on it and have it time travel. So now reverse time. Yeah, it does carry me over. Very nice. I still need this block. Because I assume I'll have to do more with this. No, of course I have to bring it to its goal. So there's a green portal. Let me examine what else there is. Where does the portal lead? It leads me over here. Which has another block spawn. I assume I can just bring this through the portal. How fun. Wait, so I'm on the wall now. Where the hell did my goal go? It's over here. Oh, hold on. I want to spawn a block. Up there? God, this is so weird. I don't even know where to begin. I, all I know is I gotta get my block down there, but... This doesn't look... Like, workable. Unless I'm supposed to make this jump somehow. Or maybe stack some blocks. Oh, I see now. Let me release this. First off, this block is bigger. I just noticed that I can totally get on this block. Here. But, like, I want to be on the side. Can I squish myself? <laughs> okay, I've made myself into a pancake, sort of. Well, so, I imagine then, if I grab this block, maybe just put it in the middle as some sort of jumping platform. I imagine if I jump to here and then jump up... Oh, come on. And instead of jumping, I could do some fun time travel little th thing. Where I just get on it, have it go back in time, or forward? Whatever, it sends me here. So now I can get up, and now I would come out on the side here. So now I'm on the edge of this, so I can time freeze this block, have it go back in time, aka up. 
And now I can come out. Well, how about I also grab this block? Because I needed to activate the gate. This is cool. This is really neat. So how can I manipulate space and time to just get me onto these different surfaces? So here comes the block. Whoop. Time freeze. Let's bring it back in time a little bit. Probably here's good. Bring it back further. Here I am. What do I want to do? I want to get upside down somehow. What does this button do? Oh, it spawns the same block in here. That's handy. So that's like the time fairy I'm looking at. And this is an endless hallway of mirrors. How does this help me go upside down though? There's a lantern on the side. Yeah, this doesn't even change the orientation of the world at all. Is there anything else? Send a spirit to portal. Oh, you can rotate portals. That's the catch. I understand now. So, which I guess doesn't matter. I just need to rotate the portal like 180 then. So, when I come out, I'm now on the ceiling. How neat is that? So then return the spirit, and now I need a cube, and did not bring a cube. I mean, how hard could that be, though? I've brought the cube. So, that's, that's a fun take on portals. Portals that can just rotate the world. This is great. I really thought this would be jank, just knowing all the mechanics they're trying to combine, but it's working. It actually is. So this looks like a sideways portal. It could be rotated, but I don't even know what I'm meant to do yet. Let's just go through and find out. I think I'm meant to just rotate this. Oh wait, nope. Nope, no matter I got there. It's rotated perfectly. What am I doing with my cube? Hardest part about this game is actually seeing everything I want to do because I'm like trying to look around and getting met with grass. I will soon figure out a plan though. I don't even know where the end goal is. That's my main issue. Okay, I just imagine I've just got to get up there somehow. Well, I guess I have an idea. What I could do is grab the block, put it about, I guess actually here would work, and then you grab it and bring it across to here. Time freeze it, bring it back in time. And now when I go through the portal again, the box is here and ready to be sent forward in time. That's fun. I think I can just return the spirit, grab the box, carry on. I think that's the puzzle. No, it's not. This game is not finished with its tricks yet. What the? Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, the box is on different gravity than me. Also, this is a portal? I could create a portal, possibly. I guess that makes sense, actually. The box is on different gravity than me. I still got to get over there somehow. Well, that is weird. Let me see what happens if I send a spirit to this portal. Oh, I can place a portal of my own. Oh my gosh. It's like I gotta reverse the uh, box's gravity. What happens if I like rotate this portal? I'll show up on the ceiling now. Oh God. I mean, I just figured this is the right one since it's right by the creation of the box. I could at least save the box's gravity, but I could set its gravity. Here, here let me show you what I mean. New box. Maybe put it like right outside the portal. Hop on through. And if I like rotate this portal like this and then grab the box and bring it through, it now should fall this way. What I want to do is just have the box be somewhere like here. Release time freeze. 
And as it goes forward in time, it should fall and it might function. Oh God, but it's spinning. Release time freeze. Forward. You think this is a rideable platform? Oh God, I've made this so jank. Let's see if I stay on top of this. Here we go. Oh God. I'm still on it. I mean, this works. <laughs> I'm over. Give me this. It's done its job. So now I'll just set it here. Release. Oh, and it's it's good. It's in. That doesn't care about gravity. That was a cool one. And that's it. That's the end of the pre-alpha. A very cool um, proof of concept. It honestly should have been more jank than it is. This is actually pretty forgiving jank-wise. So I recommend it. Wishlist this. Play it yourself. Keep an eye out for whenever the game comes out. Could be a year. Seems like a big game. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.